you already know the vibes man it's your boy dime work man i look today we gonna be getting into shot creating man now if you've been following me on twitter you already know this is my favorite play style man and it seems like every year the playmaking shot creator is like the most popular build but you got playmaking shot creators and all they want to do is quick stop nobody really want to master the play style now of course you got a few play shots that run and fade and you know that's cool and all but if you don't really have a bag as a shot creator then that's sad bro because the game offers so many different ways to get yourself open for a shot now a lot of people like to argue that the moves don't work or they're not effective but the truth of the matter is bro y'all just don't know when and where to use them y'all just don't know how to use them now don't get me wrong i'm not saying all of the animations are great but you gotta go in there and try them out and find the one that best fits your playstyle, man. That's what it's really about. Because every animation, they all cater to a different playstyle. It's literally no different from Jibbo City. Like, some Jibbo moves, you might be doing well with them. Then other ones, you put them on and it's like, what the fuck? You don't know what you're doing out there. Now look, man. If you can master this playstyle, you will become extremely tough to guard out there, bro. Because the way these animations work, they give you so much room, bro. And the main thing about it is, not many people play like this, bro. So when you're doing things like hop jumpers and step backs, a lot of people ain't ready for that. So look at this clip right here, right? I'm gonna come off the screen. Now the son of think that he got me boxed up, right? Because in his mind, the only place that I could be going is to the rack. But I weighed him out a little bit, set him up for the step back, money ball. Now look right here, it's the same exact game. Same exact move. Can't do nothing about it. I'm telling y'all, man, the mid-range game is slept on in 2K, bro. I don't know what it is with this community, but everybody just want to run around the three-point line and shoot threes, bro. And now I'm not trying to knock nobody's play style because, look, at the end of the day, you can play the game however you want to, bro, because you see me, I'm doing what I want to do out there. But there's more to the game than run around the three-point line, hide behind the screen, quick stop three-pointer, comp this, comp that, I'm comp, you're not comp. Like, who cares, my nigga, play basketball, bro. A lot of motherfuckers will sit up here and say, look, if you're taking twos, you're not comp. That's not a comp way to play. But that comp shit, low key is ruining 2K, bro, because a lot of y'all niggas ain't even, y'all get on the game, you pay $50 to make your bill. Then you sitting in the corner watching one nigga work out for the whole year, for 12 months, you sitting in the corner, bro. You never even get a chance to get in your bag, my nigga. Now look, I ain't gonna hold you. Some of y'all niggas ain't got no bag to get into, but... Y'all get what I'm trying to say, man. And it needs to be the same dudes complaining about, oh, 2K is dead. Nigga, you sitting in the corner every time you get on the game, of course it's dead. This is why when I play 2K, I like to get everybody involved, bro. Because I know me personally, look, I do it from time to time. I might be a spot up on the hash or the corner or whatever. But pass the rock around, bro. Let everybody get a chance, bro. Because look, the way it is, they made it so that your builds can do everything. Like, the builds are versatile, bro. Stop playing like it's 2K19. But that's just how I see it, man. But look, let me get back to what we here for, man. We here talking about this shot creator shit, man. Now look, this build right here, bro. This 6-2 shot creator that I just made is going to be insane when it's all done, bro. I'm telling you right now. Look at the badges that I get, bro. Who's guarding this, man? Now, when it comes to shot creating, y'all already know, bro. You got to have your circus threes as high as it can go. And you got to have your difficult shots as high as it can go. Now, when I unlock Hall of Fame circus threes, I might drop difficult shots down to gold and put, you know, circus threes to Hall of Fame. Because, look, the reality is I have a 99 mid-range ball, bro. So, I'm not missing that no matter if I put it on silver or gold. And y'all see I'm only running bronze sniper now. So, that opened up, like, a whole bunch more, you know, badge points for me, man. And, look, I don't know what it is, bro, but you really don't need sniper Hall of Fame, man. I feel like I've been shooting better without it, bro. So if you got some badges that you want to put on, man, drop your sniper down. If you're running it on Hall of Fame, put it down to bronze at least and give that a try, man, and see how it goes. Now, another great badge for shot creators that's kind of slept on is Rhythm Shooter, bro. Let's say I'm cooking a nigga up, right? And I'm sizing him up, boom, 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 hit him with some simple shit, right? So I got him moving a little bit or whatever, then I hit him with this little quick move, right here, boom, boom. That right there is gonna trigger Rhythm Shooter. It's not only gonna trigger Rhythm Shooter, but it's also gonna trigger Circus 3s or Difficult Shots if I'm in the mid-range when I do it. So all them badges gonna stack together. And even something as simple as you just seen, a step back escape into a jump shot. That's gonna trigger Rhythm Shooter as well, man. Now when I'm shooting out of these size ups, I'm shooting with the stick and that can take some time to get down. I mean, 
it's no different than anything else man you just gotta put in the time get some reps in and then before you know it, it'll be like second nature but when it comes to playmaking man for shot creators in my opinion the main two badges you gotta have as high as it can go is ankle breaker and space creator because look as a shot creator you're gonna be running one of these two or maybe both of them you know if you want to stack it or whatever but you gotta have your space creator on because that's gonna give you the most stuns on your step backs you know your step back jumpers your, your pullback moves all that now y'all know the ankle breaker takeover you know it's gonna drop them on the floor and all that but i'm talking about when you just in the game you don't have takeover you do a step back move or something like that you want to be able to create that space you want to get that stun man so you gotta have your space creator up there you gotta have your ankle breaker up there as well but these moves are really effective even when you don't get stuns man as you can see i'm creating a lot of space just off of a normal step back move normal step back shot it's all about getting the defense going one way then using their momentum against them and as y'all can see man it makes for some really nice clips man the animations look really clean and it emulates real life basketball man it's not no cheese it's not no quick stop cheese none of that weird stuff man it's just hooping and y'all see what I do, man. I play my career, I try the moves out, test them out, and I come online and do the same exact thing, man. Now, I'm going to give y'all three shot creator builds, man. I'm going to give y'all a like a 6'2", like a Kyrie. Then I'm going to give y'all like a 6'5", like a James Harden type of build. Then I'm going to give y'all like a Paul George 6'8", you know, a taller shot creator type of build. Now, because these are shot creator builds, I'm putting them as shooting guard, man. And the reason for that is because, look... You don't want to get put at point guard with a 70 pass accuracy. I mean, it's not bad, but it's just not ideal for the point guard position, man. And besides, man, your job is not to facilitate on these builds, bro. It's to get to a bucket, man. So this build right here, this is my 6-2 shot creator build, man. I just made it. This build right here is insane, bro. When it comes to scoring, when it comes to putting a ball in the hoop, this build is going to be unstoppable, man. As you can see, I get a 99 midi. So that gives me Hall of Fame blinders, and y'all already know how OP that is, bro. But the thing I like about this build is that it's an offensive beast, but at the same time, it has a little bit of defense on it as well, man. And no, y'all know I make builds that can't dunk, and I do fine with them, man. So it has a 90 layup, and that's reliable enough. I can shoot teardroppers and all that. And as you can see, it comes out to be called a two-way scoring machine, man. And y'all see who's on there, Kyrie Irving. Now, I have a 6'5 shot creator as well, man. It's a two-way shot creator build. But I'm going to give y'all the way I would make it if I was to make it over again. Because y'all already know there's always things that you might change or add. Now, I'm going to be honest with y'all. This 71 driving layup, I'm not really too fond of it. But it is what it is, man. I know most of y'all don't like doing, you know, acrobat layups and, you know, contact layups and all that. So... I'll put it there if I was y'all. Now, me, on my build, I think I got like an 86 or 87. So that gives me gold acrobat, gold giant slur, you know, all that type of shit. But I know y'all like doing contact dunks and all that. So I'll give y'all the 84 driving dunk. You know, you get the 76 vert. So you can get the pro contacts and all that. 89 mid because once you go higher than 89, is really nothing you get for it, man. 89 give you that gold blindness. That's all you need, bro. Now you got the 91 three ball as well, so that's going to already fill that in too. So if you want to, you could actually drop your midi down to like maybe say 84 or something like that. Now you might lose some badges and all that, so you just got to figure out what you want to do, man. But personally, I wouldn't go no lower than 84. You get gold difficult shots. The higher your rating is, the more whites you'll make. Because we know everybody don't green all the time, man. So now the ball handles at 87. That way you get gold unpluckable. Now on my build, I got it at 88 because I, you know, I want to get that Hall of Fame tight handles, man. So if you want that Hall of Fame tight handles, go ahead and bump it up to 88. And defensively, you see you get gold clamps, so that's big. And then you still get silver pick pocket, silver interceptor. You even get gold pick dodger, man. So, you know, that's really good for a build that's not primarily a defender. And at 6'5", you also got to remember you get that rim protector, man. So you can get them snatch blocks. You know, you get you get more blocks in general, man. It's a really nice badge to have. Now, if you want to make my exact two-way shot creator build, this is what it's looking like right here. As you can see, it's a 99, but I just haven't upgraded them yet, man. Now, as y'all can see, mine is a little bit off meta. You know, I got a little bit of post game on them and all that. Got a close shot. And as y'all can see, the driving layup's at an 86, like I said, so... 
This build is a lot of fun to play on, man, because look, not only is it good on offense, but the defense isn't that bad either, man. The main thing I would change, like I said, or like I showed earlier, I'd put the acceleration all the way up, and I'd also put the speed with ball all the way up. And I just have to find a way to finesse it from there, man. But here's a quick look at all the badges, man. Just to give y'all an idea of what I'm running. As you can see, Circus 3's difficult shots. Again, ankle breaker, space creator. You know what I mean? But let's get into this last build, man. Now, this is the 6'8 small forward shot creator build. Now, look, man. I have a ton of fun on this build as well, man. Like, this is really, like, one of my top three, I'd say. Like, I really enjoy playing on this build, bro. Because unlike the other two builds that don't really have that great playmaking ability, this build right here is insane with the playmaking. And because this build has an 81 ball handle, once I hit takeover, I can dribble just like a guard, man. Like, I get the momentum and all that. And as you can see, defensively, it's really solid, man. So you get that, you know, silver rim protector, gold intimidator, gold chase down, all that. Gold clamps, gold angle braces. It's crazy, man. So this build is really good, especially if you're out there with randoms, man, because look, you're really good on offense, but then again, you're really good on defense as well, man. So y'all can switch it up however y'all want to. As you can see, sometimes you're going to get the playmaking takeover, but sometimes you might get the slashing takeover. So you just got to play with the attributes, man, and get it to however you want it to get whatever takeover you want. But you got to make sure you get that gold blinders and you got to make sure you get that gold difficult shots. And you also want to make sure you get that gold space creator, man. So make sure you put that ball handle at 81. I wouldn't touch that if I was y'all, but hey, man. Ultimately, it's up to you. It's your build, your choice. You do whatever you want to do, man. Now, as far as the best animations go, I'm going to just give y'all off the top of my head real quick what I'll be using, man. So look, for the hop jumper, I'm either using Steph Curry or Trey Burke. Now, for the pull-up jumper, I'm either using... Uh, Trey Young or Harrison Barnes and I also use Harrison Barnes uh, hop jumper as well man and as y'all seen in the video sometime I rock with you know Jokic's hop jumper too so like I said man it's really about whatever you prefer they're all pretty good they all work pretty well but it's just about what your play style is looking like man so as always man I appreciate y'all watching man let me know what y'all think about the bills let me know what y'all think about the video all that man if you ain't already following me on twitter be sure to give me a follow at be like dom hit me up on there man and y'all already know the vibes i'm gonna catch y'all in the next one